Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming on-campus exam. I hope most of you are getting selected in one company or two company. Still, if you have not, then it's okay. In the upcoming days, you will get selected. Okay, so don't worry. So today, I'm going to share one coding questions of Wipro and one coding questions of Delight. So let's start with the Wipro coding questions. Uh, the questions was regarding product of numbers. Okay. So I hope this is not visible still. So let me tell you the question that is you will be given a number that is that will be integer. Okay, let's say five and you have to return one into two into three into four into five that is 120. Okay, let's say you are given uh, an integer as input. Let's say four. Okay, so your output should be one into two into three into four. That means 24. Okay, so the task is very simple and just you have to uh you, you have to multiply from one to the n number okay the question is almost like a factorial question okay so let me just tell you how to solve that problem so basically you have to you will be given this input and you have to do this per, uh, person one into two into three into four into five that will be 120 okay and for four sorry if the input sorry if the input is 4 then output will be 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 okay so that will be 24 so for 4 factorial what is the output that is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so that is 24 okay so what should be our approach to the solution our approach will be like we'll run a for loop which will start from 1 and will up to n plus 1 okay that means why n plus 1 because n plus 1 is exploded that's why n plus 1 okay so from 1 when we are at uh, 0 we, sorry when we are at 1 position then we'll multiply that into another variable which was initialized earlier is equal to 1 okay then in the next iteration that variable into the n i mean i variable okay so this way we'll keep iterating so let's see the solution so that it will be easier to understand okay so i have written the solution so this is the main method from where the flow of the programming starting okay so int n is equal to 5 so hard coding the input then we are printing whatever this function is returning product of numbers n okay so this is taking an integer arguments so let's see the solution i mean implementation of the function so this is the static method and it is returning an integer okay and it is taking an argument which is an integer okay so here we are going through we are going from 1 to n okay to n or if we give like only uh, lesser than then we have to put n plus 1 so this, this is similar if we put lesser than and if we put n plus 1 then is it it is equal to i less than equal to n okay so then we have to initialize a product variable which is equal to 1 so that we can multiply the initial value with that okay so pro, at first product is equal to product into i that means 1 into 1 at first okay then in the next iteration i value will be 2 then the product will be product into i so 2 into 1 then in the next iteration the value of 1 will be 3 so 3 into 2 will be i mean 2 will be 3 into 2 will be uh, sum up in the product variable so 6 will be uh, stored in the product variable so this way it will keep iterating and will generate the output so that is 120 for 5 and 24 for 4 so after all iteration it is returning the product so nothing else so let's see the solution i mean let's run it for 5 uh the output is 5 uh, 120 and as expected and for 4 the output should be uh 24 and as expected okay actually i didn't have the negative test cases so please consider this as okay if you have any other solution then please give the solution in the comment section okay i love it
so i hope you understood still if you have any issue then let me know in the comment section or you can damn me at my id instagram.com slash techno.tf okay i will try to assist you okay and you can join our telegram channel t.me slash we cannot there we will discuss uh various companies and details okay and one thing guys please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want because this motivates me to make more content okay so i hope you will do so so let's see the solution in uh python so guys again if you want the prime materials of delight quipro essentar cognizant capgemini mindtree delta x and so on then please damn me at my study instagram.com slash tech.tf okay i'll try to assist you this is paid but very affordable okay so the solution will be quite same okay uh sorry so let me delete it so at first in the main method or you can say in the driver code we have written the product of numbers which is the name of the function and taking this uh hard code value for and it is printing whatever it is returning okay then we are uh, going to the implementation of the function so for i in range 1 to n plus 1 so from 1 to n plus 1 we are iterating this n plus 1 is excluded that's why it is iterating up to n okay so then product will be initialized as one so at each iteration it will be keep adding okay product is equal to product into i so product is one already so one into one will be sum up in the product variable okay and then sorry will be stored in the product variable then in the next iteration the two into one that will be stored inside product variable so this way it, it will also keep iterating as in java so let's run it so as expected for five this should be 120 so as expected okay so i hope this is fine and i hope you don't have any confusion so let's go to the uh question of what question of uh del delight is so actually the question was regarding given an array of numbers write a program to display all the odd numbers in the array in the same order okay so let me show you the sample input output so let's say uh, actually the question is also very easy still uh, let me tell you so if the array elements are 4 3 43 5 6 okay so your output should be let's say here odd numbers are 3 43 and 5 so your output should be 3 43 and 5 so this input is an array and this is not an array but this is just the odd numbers in same order okay so let's say this for uh, 43 is not here this is after 6 okay so your output should be 3 5 then 43 so the order should be same okay so basically you have to run a for loop to iterate from the zeroth index to last index of that array then try to find find that what is not being divided by 2 so if i mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 then skip if not then print that value okay in the same line don't use ln okay so i hope you will do so by yourself so i am checking it if you can solve this easy coding as well or not so if you can't solve this easy coding question then be serious and start preparing very well okay so i hope you will give the solution in java python or c plus plus and in any convenient language okay so i hope this much of discussion is enough for today's session so if you found this video helpful then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and if you can if you want then you can join our telegram channel t.me slash we can now and uh, again if you want the prime materials of Accenture, delight capgemini we pro then let me know in the comment section or you can damn me at my insta id instagram.com slash i'll try to assist you okay so thank you for today's session